Hello everyone, my name is Spoon. I'm one of the directors at the Price Hill Rec Center. And this is for all the little ones who stuck in the house, nothing to do. Here's an activity to keep you active. Okay, first I'm gonna give you guys all of my supplies I have here. So, cardboard box, some yarn or string. If you don't have yarn, you can use string. Scissors, markers, Sharpie, something like that. Crayons are good as, as well. Duct tape, scotch tape. You got to have a clothes hanger. And most of all, socks. We're gonna show you how to make a homemade basketball hoop, backboard, and basketballs out of socks. So this is gonna be called sock basketball. All right, first thing you're gonna do is get the bulky stuff out of the way. So we're gonna go with the cardboard box to make a backboard. So we'll get this cut out real quick. Now we got the backboard cut out. So next thing we'll do is work on our rim. So get your clothes hanger, make sure you get a pretty sturdy one as well. So you're gonna break this down. Okay. And then you wanna just kinda get it in a circle of a semicircle if you can. Make it look like a hoop. And once you get it in a circle, you wanna connect it together. You can kinda twist it back together or you can cheat and use duct tape. I like to twist it so it make it sturdy and then put the duct tape on it as well. And then you can bend it into a little perfect circle if needed. But you wanna put your tape on it to keep it together. Just like so. Now, we're gonna work on our net. So for the net, we're gonna use yarn. If you don't have yarn, you can use string. Um, some people even say use strips of paper. But we're gonna try the string. And you can cut about eight, 10 of them. You know, not, depending on how many you need, you can use. So what I do is kind of get them all even and then I'll cut them in half to double them. And we'll go one more just kind of give you an idea of what we're doing. Once I got them together, you can cut them right in half. Once you get your net, you can tie it up on the hoop or you can tape it. I like to tie mine. Okay, so now we have the hoop and the nets all ready to go. So next thing we'll do is attach the hoop to the backboard. And with that, we'll just duct tape it to the backboard. You want to kind of line it up dead center to the backboard and just start putting your tape on. And again, if you don't have duct tape, you might want to try scotch tape. I don't know how good it'll hold, but you can try it. I also told you guys earlier that we use scotch tape. And the reason I said scotch tape was if you don't want to tie your hoop in a knot, you can just tape it up. But, and after we get that done, we're going to do some good stuff next. So that's your hoop. Now, I recommend you decorate it. You can put your favorite NBA team, favorite college team, favorite high school team, um, 
your favorite player number. So I'm going to find a couple for me here. I'm going to go with red. Okay. So I'm going to put my square, always have a square on your backboard. You got to have the square. Okay. And then you can start putting like number 23. You get another color. You can put N B A N C A A. All right. So that is your homemade basketball hoop. Okay, now to finish project, we're gonna tape it to the wall. So I put my duct tape in four corners to kind of keep it sturdy when it hits the wall. And we're gonna put it, you can level it. If you got a little kids, you can go low, middle kid, yeah, as you go up. So we'll put that on the wall. All right, here's your basketballs, AKA socks. Okay, I'm gonna do a slam dunk, boom. Okay, or at home, you and your family members, you guys can do uh, whoever hit the most buckets out of 10 tries from a distance. Um, you can play knockout, um, horse, it's up to you, whatever you wanna do, but it's pretty fun. Three for three. All right.